Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how NASA finds three microbes that could grow plants on Mars. NASA has discovered three bacterial strains at the International Space Station that may help grow plants on Mars. To withstand the rigors of space on deep space missions, food grown outside of Earth needs a little extra help from bacteria. The recent discovery aboard the International Space Station, or ISS, can help researchers create the fuel to help plants withstand such stressful situations. The findings published in the Frontiers in Microbiology describe the discovery of bacteria belonging to the family Methylobacteria CA from different locations aboard the ISS across two consecutive flights. While one strain was identified as Methylorubrum rhodesianum, the other three were previously undiscovered and belonged to a novel species novel. The rod-shaped motile bacteria were given the designations IF7SW, B2T, IIF1SW, B5, and IIF4SW, B5, with genetic analysis showing them to be closely related to Methylobacterium indicum. Methylobacterium species are involved in nitrogen fixation, phosphate solubilization, abiotic stress tolerance, plant growth promotion, and biocontrol activity against plant pathogens. Now, in honor of the renowned Indian biodiversity scientist Dr. Ajmal Khan, the team has proposed to call the novel species Methylobacterium ajmali. Commenting on the discovery, Dr. Kasturi Venkateswaran and Dr. Nitin Kumar Singh of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, say that the strains might possess biotechnologically useful genetic determinants for the growing of crops in space. However, further experimental biology is needed to prove that it is indeed a potential game-changer for space farming. To grow plants in extreme places where resources are minimal, isolation of novel microbes that help to promote plant growth under stressful conditions is essential, they said. Along with JPL, other researchers collaborating on this discovery are based at the University of Southern California, Los Angeles, Cornell University, and the University of Hyderabad in India. With NASA one day looking to take humans to the surface of Mars and potentially beyond, the U.S. National Research Council, Decadal Survey, recommends that the space agency use the ISS as a test bed for surveying microorganisms according to Venkat and Singh. Since our group possesses expertise in cultivating microorganisms from extreme niches, we have been tasked by the NASA Space Biology Program to survey the ISS for the presence and persistence of the microorganisms, they add. Needless to say, the ISS is a cleanly maintained extreme environment. Crew safety is the number one priority and hence understanding human plant pathogens is important. But beneficial microbes like this novel Methylobacterium ajmali are also needed. Expanding the ISS lab As part of an ongoing surveillance mission, eight locations on the ISS are being monitored for bacterial growth and have been for the last six years. These sample areas include where the crew assembles or where experiments are conducted such as the plant growth chamber. While hundreds of bacterial samples from the ISS have been analyzed to date, approximately 1,000 samples have been collected from various other locations on the space station but are awaiting a trip back to Earth where they can be examined. According to Venkat and Singh, the eventual goal is to bypass this lengthy process and potentially find new novel strains using molecular biology equipment developed and demonstrated for the ISS. Instead of bringing samples back to Earth for analyses, we need an integrated microbial monitoring system that collects, processes, and analyzes samples in space using molecular technologies, Venkat and Singh said. This miniaturized omics in space technology a biosensor development, will help NASA and other spacefaring nations achieve safe and sustainable space exploration for long periods. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, 
Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.